And just like that, in less than 30 seconds, we've now fixed this previously blocked application, which means now we'll see no more warning pop-ups, no more warning triangles, and we can once again go ahead and enjoy this streaming application on all of our Amazon devices. As Amazon ramp up the war against piracy on these Amazon streaming devices, everybody was looking for an easy fix, which didn't involve buying another device. Now I did present a couple of fixes before, which lots of you were asking questions about. What's the easy way to rename a package? How can I do this without using a computer or another device? Is there any easy way to do this? Well, let me present to you a solution today, which you can do directly on your Fire Stick, which takes less than 30 seconds, which will allow you to rename any application on your device. And most impressively, this application is absolutely free and available directly on the Amazon App Store. Now I've been speaking to the developer about this a number of times because you can imagine things in this space move very quickly. And he does actually have another update planned in the next few days. This new version will have the ability to clone even more applications successfully, allowing you to use even more applications on your Amazon streaming device. Now we can see on my device, I've got one application blocked, which you can see over there, which means when I try to start here, as you can imagine, I see the error message, standard error. And for now I have the option of launching it anyway, or I can uninstall it. Let's go back. Now, before I open up the new application, let me install one other application, which is a great way for you to see the package name of all of your installed applications. And that application is just called App Info Manager. So I can use my voice and say App Info Manager. This is the free application there, so install that on your device as well. Let's now go back. Let's now open up the brand new App Cloner. Let's open that up. Now the application has a super easy interface. I mean, there are lots of ways to rename a package. You can use other third party tools. You can use your computer, but they do involve many steps. They require you um, to have certain access. Sometimes you have to type in ADB commands and it can be uh, a bit complicated, especially for the novice user. But we can see with this application, literally just install it, open it up, find whichever application you want to clone. In this example, I'm gonna clone this one here because this one has a warning. I'll press the select button on that. So do you wanna create a clone? Let's click on clone. Takes a couple of seconds. It then extracts the APK. It then does the modification. Now, for example, it doesn't allow you to choose which name you want to rename to, which um, I think would be a good option for a future update. And again, I'm speaking to him about that, about future updates. This is one of the reasons why make sure you are subscribed because things are going to be moving very quickly in this space as more applications will require modifications, tweaks, updates to get working. The great thing is the developer is very responsive and I do believe we can come up with fixes very quickly. So again, make sure you are following with all notifications so you know exactly when the new update drops. I can now click on install. Give that a second. So effectively, you're now reinstalling the same application again, but with a slightly modified package without getting into all of the details, but I will use App Info Manager and hopefully you guys can see exactly what's happened. That's now done. I can click on done. Let's leave this application as is. Let me now press the home button. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. And let's now open up App Info Manager. This now goes through all of your applications, builds a list, and you'll be able to see exactly what you have installed on your device. And more importantly, what is the underlying package name of your application? I can see 133 applications. Let's scroll down. So we can see here, for example, is the original application, which has the warning and is blocked. Let's click on that. Now pay attention to what you have in the brackets at the end. So that is the current package name. And that's the one that gives you the warning. So you can see the name there. Let's now go back. And this one here is the newly cloned one. Let's open that one up. Here we are. And we can see the difference there. So that's basically what's happened now. So the application has been cloned and the name has been automatically or dynamically changed. Let's now go back. Now, the most important thing of everything is if I now look at my application list, you'll notice that this one over here has that triangle. This one over here 
has no triangle. And if I now click on that, we can see the application should work just like the previous one. Now I can now once again, see all of the content in here. I can click on one of these as a random test, try that out. And that starts playing straight away on my device. Let's now press the home key. So we can see this example, the clone works successfully. I was able to start the cloned application. And once again, we have no warnings on that particular application. So that's working fine. Now, as I mentioned at the start, this is going to be a work in progress. There's going to be lots of updates needed, lots of tweaks. I have tried cloning other applications, like for example, this one here, and this one actually fails during the cloning process. So again, it is going to take some tweaking, adjusting, modifying, but essentially the framework or the foundation is there. And using this brand new application, we'll be able to clone any application on our Amazon device. And once again, allow us to use this applications even though the original ones were added to the original blacklist. Now, to get this application on all of your devices, just go over to your search, click on that, and just type in the word app. I mean, this is a brand new application. It's only been out for a few days. And just type in cloner. You can see it's not even in the list, but if I type in app clone, let's click on that. Scroll down. Oh, it's not even in the list here. Okay. So let's go back again and let's type in the full name app cloner. Scroll down and this is the application there, guys. So you can see brand new, no reviews. I think it's fantastic what the developer has done in a very short space of time. I think it's going to be essential for anybody using a Fire Stick. I mean, even just a use case that I've got an application where maybe I have a certain login, like maybe um, Facebook or something else. I don't want to keep logging out and logging back in as another account. I can just use app cloner. So I've got two copies of the same application, each configured with different credentials. So I can quickly switch between them. So I think it's a fantastic application. The only thing that I would suggest that if you are going to be using certain applications, especially in the current climate of all of this data leaking and, you know, people having their devices hacked and everything else, everybody should be using a VPN just to protect their device. Also to ensure that the ISP can't throttle you. I think a VPN is essential for all of your streaming devices. I've been using IPVanish for more than five years now. I believe it's the best. It gives me unlimited connections, which means I can install it on as many devices as I like. All of my Fire Sticks, my laptops, my phones, tablets, all of those devices are covered with a single license. And to get all of that at a fantastic price point for just over $2 a month, it really is a fantastic offer. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. And again, at this price point, it's definitely worthwhile checking out. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.